Hello Cancers. So normally, um, you know the, uh, the sword energy is an air sign and what I'm sensing in this situation is because it is coming in very, um, as like the, the central theme of this spread, I do feel that like Page of Swords and King of Swords too are, um, it's, it's like in the same suit so I can read it as people in the same family but at the same time I do feel that um, it can be read as an air, a water sign that is also very emotionally blocked, okay? So what I'm sensing is this, um, I'm reading the Page of Swords as you. And in this situation, what I do sense is um, there might be family um, arguments. There might be like falling outs between people in your family. You and another person potentially, you and a father figure is what I'm sensing it's very strongly here. And um, so this is what I'm looking at first here. This is you. This is potentially a father figure, somebody who has a lot of um, sway, a lot of... Um, Somebody who can be very business savvy, but at the same time, they do exert a great deal of uh, influence on your life. They do put a lot of pressure on you to excel, to outperform, and things like that, okay, is what I'm sensing. And at the heart of it is we have these two women images, okay. The high priestess can also be read as a, um, like a, a mistress, in this situation, it also deals with like um, religious differences. It could also deal with spirituality and um, you know even like even differences in your religious spiritual beliefs. Okay, it could also deal with a mistress. And what I'm sensing is, if this is a father figure, this could also be a mother figure. So it's problematic because there are two women involved. Okay, so. I'm sensing for some of you who are going through this, you might be like a, a younger person, like in your 20s, 30s, or even in your 40s, if you have um, fathers who are still alive, if you have parents who are still alive, and there is this situation that you find yourself in. And uh, what I'm sensing here is you want to come to the defense, but you are still a page energy. This is still a very young immature energy and I, I don't mean like emotional immaturity but I do feel that you don't have the uh, power to come to to resolve this situation you don't have the power to overcome that father figure and a lot of you too you don't have the um, the power to fight okay so if we were looking at like instead of the page of swords the next step would be the uh, knight of swords and the knight of sword is a very impulsive figure but he or she is armed to like and has the the proper training and the skills to mitigate problems and to resolve conflict and to defend somebody else's honor okay as a page energy, you don't have that power at your disposal. You don't have the knowledge to fight, and you don't have like the the right protection to engage in conflict with the other person. I hope that makes sense to you. And then, you know, at the same time, this is the King of Swords. In the reverse position, this is somebody who has everything at his disposal, but he's choosing, he or she as well, is choosing to... Um, he or she, she is not choosing the, the high the high road, okay, it's basically it. They might be very intelligent and they use your, their intelligence to like um, put others down, for example. They could also like uh, use their, um, their ability to persuade to be like very charismatic and they could use that to like um, attract people to them to get like things that they want rather than to attract um, than to help people or to persuade people on the right course of action so for those of you who are not dealing with this situation in a family context I do feel that you might have to deal with like an air sign an older energy like a <clears throat> an older air sign it could be male or female and um, this air sign is just you know a little it's very intelligent very eloquent with their speech but they might be a little manipulative and they might be very self-serving so I want you to be careful with this energy if they are in your midst like in a work capacity in a uh, interpersonal relationship or in a romantic relationship if they're in that uh, capacity with you I just want you to be very aware that um, 
they're not really working uh, towards the greater good of this relationship they're more self-interested so be careful with that energy okay and um, at the same time I do feel that time and time again you are like you you feel that this person is not being fair or they're not fighting fair but then you don't have a way to to like get yourself heard you don't have a way to defend yourself against this person so it's like an ongoing issue you know it's an ongoing problem I do feel that within the first two months though you're going to be able to proceed in a better way or you're going to find like a coping mechanisms in order for you to approach this situation and have it play out to your benefit okay so what I'm sensing is you know the wheel of fortune does deal with timing okay it is a huge card of like karmic debt but also timing justice as well is uh, indicative of karmic debt and what I do feel is like um, this is a cyclical situation it's been revolving you know and you're doing the same thing and you're taking you might like be very strategic as well but again as a page energy you're not really fully aware of um, how manipulative this person can be okay so for example, the first runaround, you're taking a very high-minded approach. You realize that didn't work because this person is like very self-interested, so they're not going to open up. And then the second time around, you're taking the low road, and then this person is like outmaneuvering you because they're just that good, okay? And then the third time around, you're trying to like to 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 come in like <laughs> on a middle path. And, uh, you know, that didn't work. And then you might have also, like, tried to ignore it, try to, like, weed them out of your life completely, but they keep coming back. So then you're out of options. At this point, I do feel that you can't outmaneuver them. They're always, like, one step ahead, or they're so, like, um, quick-witted, and they're so eloquent that they always, like, um, argue back. And I do feel like this person, despite being an older energy, they're very petty. So you really don't know how to um, outwit this person. Okay, it's it's like a it's like a, a, a game here. And I don't feel that the energy is completely completely um, malicious. But I do feel that you are tr really trying to outwit this person, and you don't have all the the skills and you don't have the proper training in order to do that okay so one of the thing I do see with this card is it is um, indicative of your intuition okay so timing is going to be everything and I do feel that um, there is an opportunity coming in the first two weeks for you to do that okay for you to expose this person if that's what you're hoping for for you to like um, get others to your point of view in order to like figure out a way to outmaneuver this person so I do feel that is going to happen for you you're going to be happy that you are able to do that but um I want you to really understand like the way this energy is playing out for this month okay the opportunity is there the skill set will be offered to you in order to do this but I also want you to know like um, why you really want to do it okay is it like a, a battle of you know wits to see who's smarter who's more competent or is this person doing something innately wrong that you want to expose him or he or she you know like for their wrongdoing so what is the agenda what is the end purpose for you why do you want to expose them and what you're getting out of it okay so I do feel that it might be like an ego game on your end and from their end obviously but I do feel that um it is more from your end so if you're doing this if you're stuck in this situation you don't even have to engage in it okay so use this energy for something else use this for like something a little more positive rather than um, keep you know like allowing this person to affect how you feel about yourself just because you cannot outwit them okay so don't let their opinion of you dictate your self-worth is what I'm saying use this energy for something a little more conducive to longevity I guess and don't let this person affect you okay so aside from that I do feel like you know just in your past there are situations that are definitely beyond your control you feel like kind of uh, propelled forward without the proper training, without the proper arsenal, without full information, full knowledge, okay? So, um, 
you may, you know, you may do, you, you did the best that you can given the, the information that you have or the lack of information that you have. And I feel as a result, you've proven yourself over and over again that you are more than capable. So I know that um, with cancers in general, you know, you are very, very capable. Um, wherever people plant you or wherever they plop you down, you have the ability to survive. So survival instincts and your intuition will serve you very well, especially throughout your life, but more so for this month. In order to like um, move forward, in order to like truly figure out what is the best course of action for yourself, rely on your intuition. And uh, whatever you decide to do, make the most of it because you have like tremendous manifestation abilities. You make like you can make the best out of the most dire uh, situation. Okay, so in the past you've had to do that. You've just had to like um, make do with very little at your disposal, very little resources, very little information, and because of it, you are like gaining in. Um, you are going through this training process, where uh, apprenticeship, where you're like emerging from being a page to a knight, okay? So in the process though, I would warn those of you who are going through extensive training, don't lose track of your uh, yourself. Don't lose track of your goals. Don't forget where you come from, okay? So if you are initially in this project, for example, to help people, don't lose track of it, okay? Don't let money get you sidetracked. Don't let, like, prestige, don't let other people persuade you or, um... I feel that money might be in the picture and you might lose track of your, um, initial ideals, okay? So, just be very careful about that situation, okay? So, you know, keep yourself grounded. Don't forget your initial purpose for getting involved in certain situations. And don't let money be a, a motivation for you to compromise your integrity and your beliefs, okay? So that's one danger that I really want to um, emphasize here. That's the only thing that I'm seeing for this spread. Aside from that, everything else looks good, which you get to decide the course of action that you want to take. So whatever you decide now is going to have a big impact on the rest of your life. So really try to make the right decision with as well, okay? So if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.